if you did number one, this is the same thing as number one, it's just backwards. So with number one, I didn't do it to this, so probably I shouldn't have though. Uh, based off the structure of it, I know it's an odd function. I know it's an odd function. I also know it has a negative coefficient because that's the way a negative one works. Right? So I know that those two things are true. So if I look up here at my two equations, uh, my, two, my four choices, those two have a negative in front of the equations. They have a negative one in front of the equation. So those are the only two that I really am gonna consider. So I'm gonna do a try, cross off A, cross off A, cross off B. No, what am I doing, try. Don't cross off A, cross off B. What are the two you wanna look at? Cross off C, cross off D. Uh, and then again, if we did one, this is what I like to do. I zoom in, I've got one, two, three x-intercepts. That one's x equals negative one, that's x equals zero, that's x equals two. Where did they come from? That one came from x minus two. This one came from x plus zero, but it's really just x. Okay, x plus zero is x. And then this one came from x uh, plus one. That's where they came from. If you do have to be careful with these because if you're not, it's real easy to think that that's x plus 2x and x minus 1. So it's going to be this option right here, b, because that has the plus 1, the minus 2, and the x in there. Right, so really, be careful. Look at stuff in the right order, whatever works the best for you. Uh, the negative coefficient is the one that I think you probably want to look out for the closest because it's going to be the one you most likely to make mistakes.